To write the formula for carbon monoxide, we'll put a C for the carbon, and then the oxide, this O here, we'll put an O. Because they're both nonmetals, we know that this is a molecular compound. We can also look at this prefix mono here and see that it's a molecular compound because they use prefixes. So we only have one carbon, so we leave that as is. And for mono, we only have one oxygen, so we don't have to do anything there. It's kind of strange though. We have mono for in front of the oxide, but we never write mono in front of the first element here. So we don't say monocarbon monoxide. We say carbon monoxide. So this is the correct formula for carbon monoxide. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.